Viewer discretion is advised. Our poor girl, she was never allowed sleepovers. I was like, you're not allowed to sleep in anyone's house. And she would hiss and fight with us, especially her mom, like, ma'am. My story is not their story. Like, don't you trust me? And said, no, Dana, we trust you. I just don't know who's out mm. there. And your friends may have awesome parents, but I don't know who's going through their door. So my job is to keep you safe. You know, until you're 18 and you become independent, do what you want to do, sweet. But until then, you're stuck here. Your friends can come have sleepovers here, you know, with us talking to their parents, but no sleepovers. <coughs> she hated that. She absolutely hated that. And I would say to her, you know, if your one trauma in life is mom and dad were strict, then I'm happy with that. Like, I'm happy to have that. Anyways, she turned 18 and I asked her, what do you want to do for your birthday, darling? And she said, sleepover. I was like, oh, who's coming over? She's like, no, no, I'm going to sleep at my friends. I was like, oh, frick. So she had a sleepover. She rings us late at night, crying, emotional. And I said, what's wrong? Like, something wrong, I'll come pick you up. She goes, no. I just want to say thank you to your mum for protecting me because she's sitting around in a circle with her friends, her closest friends, five of them, 